Good morning. I'm going to show you guys something you guys might question, but don't. So, ah. this is swelling of my cervix. Okay. I'm not pushing it out. It's super hard. I'm not pregnant. It just looks crazy as hell. It's swollen all the way down here. That's me pushing it out. That's it, regular. But it's absolutely insane. And some of you guys, I don't know, think I'm pregnant or something. When I'm not, I have something going on. I should have like thought about that earlier because my stomach swelling is just abnormal. But thank you, Thai Sally body for figuring it out. So it's the big day and look what I find by my kitchen window. I've never seen a rainbow there. How crazy. Must be a good sign. On my way to Cedars to see Tai Sally body doctor, if you will. I'm on my way to have a small procedure done with Dr. Tai Sali Abadi. She is a gynecologist and an OBGYN. And I can't stress enough for you guys to get checked out annually and be tip top shape because ovarian cancer is a silent and deadly killer. It doesn't discriminate, it's just when you find out it's a little bit too late but thank you lord for having this amazing doctor in my life that basically fuck my life there was a cop <laughs> yeah yeah today is going to be a challenging day but the rainbow kind of answered my prayers and it was a very big sign for me um, if you guys know me, I'm extremely spiritual, so I'm not afraid whatsoever. I know I'm in the best hands possible, and I want to thank God above all else for introducing all else for introducing me to this amazing individual, um, Dr. Thais Ali Abadi, um, because she literally presses me if I don't show up to appointments or if I'm not scheduling at scheduling annual visits and she's the one that pressed me recently and lo and behold found out what I did but I just want to share this with you guys because I want every single female that follows me to get regular checkups you never know until it's too late with the shit so I definitely want to urge every single person that's watching this video that follows me like you have to get checked. It's really, 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 really important. Whether you're young or old, like the second your menstruation starts, you need to get checked. I'm gonna check in with you guys when I check in. So I realized you guys would probably <laughs> read me. So uh, Sydney's driving. I mean, the car's not moving either. <laughs> she <laughs> driving. <laughs> elevator right now. The only person I wanted with me was Sydney because she's not going to be dramatic about it.
bathroom look like she has So, just over here fogging up my glasses and, you know, my eyes are a little red. Nervous, but also I know I'm in the hands of a really, really amazing doctor, but still, you know, nervous. By the way, wearing a mask and glasses are so not smart because it fogs them. It's actually really funny. It fogs it like crazy. So basically, I'm just waiting. It's a little nerve wracking, but I mean, I'm in the hands of America's best gynecologist and OBGYN. So, I don't have a doubt that it's going to be a positive outcome and yeah I'm a little nervous but because I forgot my cross but then I remembered I have a cross tattooed on my ring finger so I keep rubbing that. Guess who's back between my legs? <laughs> Not only there's no one between my legs. <laughs> so I didn't take anything like I didn't do um, I didn't do anesthetic local or regular or even laughing yes um they have new technology for removing things nowadays using lasers and honestly one piece of advice I can give to my younger self and just to anyone out there doing anything even if it's for health reasons procedures try to stay away from anesthetics like it's so bad for you it's so so bad for your health I wish somebody like sat me down and told me that a long time ago it can cause a lot of problems, but I'm kind of out of breath. Like, it hurts really, really bad. Um, the feeling is kind of like, I don't know, I get fainty. Um, like, clammy, hot, like I feel like fainting a little bit um, from moment to moment. Um, and then... Um, I would say it feels like the worst period of your life, like the worst period you've ever had times five. That's like the pain that you feel, but it's okay. Better that than anything else. I'm trying to sleep, but it's rough. <laughs> My God, you can't go to sleep because it hurts like something's disrupting you disrupting 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 yeah and I don't want too many people around me right now because I feel like I don't want to freak anyone out because I think I don't know you can do it Okay, another piece of advice since we have nothing better to do right now. One thing that has like got me through all the hardships in my life, I feel like I under-exaggerate them to myself in my head versus over-exaggerating and um, fully believing the diagnosis, if that makes sense, where I go against it all and I'm just like, nope, nope. Even when I had septic shock, I was like, nope, no, I don't, no, 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 this is not happening to me, I don't care, and I feel like 
everything in your life is a state of mind. Success is a state of mind. Happiness is a state of mind. Um, not even only achieving happiness, being content in your life is a state of mind. Being healthy in your life is a state of mind. And being fine and making it through battles is a state of mind. You have to go in thinking you're going to win 24-7. And not to hype up what's against you, to hype up yourself and to know that you can get through anything and everything the world throws at you. And that's how you win. One more thing. Mm. To anyone that is out there going through a similar situation as I am, when you can't catch a break, just know that I pray for people like us at the light of the end of the tunnel to see it always because I think for me sometimes it gets so discouraging because I have autoimmune and it it's just one after another after another like even some of you guys reach out to me it's like Bitch, you can't even you can't catch a break can you like it's fine it's it's not fine that like so many things can happen to one person it's fine because what doesn't kill me will make me stronger and with that whatever god's intention is for me he's built a motherfucking warrior that is completely devoted and I just don't even question anything anymore like everybody else around me I feel like it's really angry for me and as you can imagine how hard it is for my parents but like for me it's just like okay is this another test like to show my strength is this another um trick to test my faith um so I definitely think before all of my hardships I was just a child and not that ignorance is bliss to a certain level but <clears throat> I wouldn't change my state of mind with anybody else because I have been in the darkest hours and I still choose to find the light I have been shown utmost cruelty okay? because you can't let dark, sadness, evil, unhappiness, just anything that's against the light work against you and mess up your aura because sometimes I really feel like all of this is just a test just to see if it's going to break your character or not like if you're worthy or not and I can just say from my perspective people have it so much harder than me like I didn't understand what like sickness was until I had it three four years ago and now it'll almost be four next year in April but what I'm trying to say is Ignorance is bliss. I wouldn't have known how, like, people live in the hospital, hospital life, like, how sad that is. But I find the brightest of angels in the darkest of times. And I think definitely that it is a test. Sometimes you get given very hard things to go through to see if you'll become bitter, to see if you become ugly, to see if you become full of rage or your heart is filled with hatred. And I say, fuck that, number one. I stand against all of that. I treat others how I want to be treated, no matter what. And just be happy man like you're alive there's it could be so much worse 
I didn't understand um, vlogging. And even before vlogging, I didn't understand YouTube, how you can have such high energy in front of a camera. I'm just keeping it real. But today, you guys really helped me, to be honest, because I feel like I didn't face it alone, you know? Thank you guys for always being there for me. I love you. I don't want to leave off everyone thinking I'm crying um, because I'm sad. I'm crying because I'm happy. I never knew that I would be this person that could even express this much emotionally with you all especially because I've been brought up to be very private and I have been extremely private in my life compared to others um and it's just so crazy to me to myself that I feel so free now like I feel so I feel like the shackles of being afraid of what like people will think or this and that because I feel like there's a lot of that in my culture and the way I've been brought up and it has always been I feel that's been a very big mental handicap for me and and so many of you guys reach out to me and ask me that one question. Yes, that has gotten in the way many, 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 many times in my past. But once you let yourself go and just live in your truth and honesty, there's nothing to hide. Life is beautiful. Life is blessed. And for those of you that were part of the um, close circle of friends and family that had known about this prior. Thank you guys so much for being there for me and your prayers mean the world to me and I didn't get this far just far. We ain't finished yet. I just think that it's really important, really, really important to spread the right message especially females we need to talk a little bit more openly about our bodies and about what we're going through to encourage one another you never know who's fighting a silent battle this is the next day of surgery look at how much it's gone down no more swelling isn't it crazy Bye.